What's up guys, Gary here with Self Taught Dev. Today we are gonna to go over how to set up your first React Native app on Windows. Now we are gonna be using Expo. Expo abstracts out a lot of the complexities of setting up a React Native app, and it just simplifies the development experience. And then we are also going to need to install some things as well. I'll have links to everything you need to install in the description below. So check those out, download what you need. What you need is, um, we're, gonna, we're going to need Android Studio, since we're on Windows, uh, that will allow us to emulate and edit our code. The other thing is um, Node.js. That will allow us to do npm slash npx. Uh, the other thing is if you want my terminal, I use git bash, so you can install git. That part's optional, but those are the three pieces of software we're going to need. So pause the video, go to the description, download those, and come back, and then we will continue. Assuming you've got that done, we are just going to navigate to where we want our project installed. So I'm just in Documents, GitHub, YouTube, Demos. And then we are going to run npx create-expo-app at latest. And let this run. And then this is, uh, actually we need to name our app. We'll just call this um, demo test. Since I'm not building anything particular for this. But this will install everything we need for our React Native app, nice and easy. If you know React, a lot of those skills from the web will transfer over to this. There are some tag differences and then a lot of CSS properties that you can use on the web. You cannot use in React Native. There's a very limited set that you can use in React Native. But we're just going to let this install. You get a lot of deprecated warnings like this. Ignore those, those don't really matter. After everything's done, you should see these last few commands here. So we are going to change directory into our demo-test directory. Uh, we do need to open our app up in Android Studio. So let's go to a search bar and, and type in Android. If I can spell and, oh my gosh, there we go, Android Studio. And have this open. And then we can see we've got our demo test here. So we're gonna open that up. Now this is the device manager. If you don't have this open, click on the device manager icon over here, right below notifications. When you first install Android Studio, I believe this is the only default device. If you don't have any devices here, just click on the plus, click on create virtual device, select on whatever device or select whatever device you would like to emulate. We're gonna do uh, Pixel 8. We'll click on next. And then you will select the version you want. I'm doing upside down cake, but it shouldn't, shouldn't really matter. You can do whichever version you want to develop for. I'd recommend the most recent version or one of the most recent versions as I don't think Google suggests supporting anything lower than 13. Maybe it's, I think it's 11 for wearable devices like watches, but for the sake of this demo, we're doing API level 34. So we'll click on next here, click on finish. And then that will install the Pixel 8 with the API version 34. Now to actually run our app in the terminal here, just click on the terminal icon if that's not showing up, we are going to change directory to our demo-test directory. And then we're going to use npm run Android. And this will start an emulator and build our project for us. Uh, if it doesn't start an emulator for you and it just builds the project, click on the little play button over here and that will start your emulator. But this is our project. This is the boilerplate React Native setup stuff. Um, why are you saying, hey, YouTube? That's not what it should say. We haven't edited that yet. So it's still pulling old data. If we double click index here and see what we've got, this should say welcome. Seems it's got cached data. Demo-test is what we want to run. So let's try that again. We're gonna close this emulator and then we will press start on our Pixel 8. You can see it's got the loading and starting up here and then we'll go to running devices where we should be able to see the running device. Looks like we got an error here. Okay, yeah, we need to start the emulator first. If it's the first time you're running that particular emulator, it might take a minute to set up. And a little side while this is getting set up, I typically develop in VS Code just because that's what I use for the web and I'm more familiar with that. So you can open this project up in VS Code. You would just need to also have Android Studio running for the emulator or have Android Studio installed at least for the emulator. 
And there we go, we've got our device running now. So we're gonna do the NPM run Android again. We can see here that it's installing, installing Expo Go on our Pixel emulated device. And then we can see the Expo app launching here. Now, if you want to run this on a local device you have, or like a physical device, there is a little QR code generated here. Scan it with your physical device and that would open it on your device. You just need to make sure you install the Expo app. So go to the App Store or the Google Play Store and install the Expo app before you do that. And then that should let you emulate this on a real physical device instead of just, or it should let you run it on a real physical device rather than just emulating it in Android Studio. I just prefer doing it in Android Studio because you can emulate multiple devices and check um, tablets, phones, whatever you want. Now this is our little base boilerplate stuff. So we can see that we've got welcome here. Let's change that to hello. And then we'll save that with control S and we can see it instantly updates here. Uh, if we want to change step one to edit your code and save, we can see that that opens up or edits as well. So that's how you get your first React Native app set up. That's how you edit the code. Um, if you have any questions, comments, run into any problems, let me know in the comments down below and I will try to help you out or come hop in the Discord and ask there. It's a lot easier to help people debug stuff in the Discord. If this helps you out, give me a thumbs up so YouTube knows I'm putting out good stuff. Hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date on the videos I'm putting out if you're interested in stuff like this. And also, if you want me to make more React Native tutorials, let me know in the comments below and I'll churn out a few videos talking about the different tags you can use in React Native and how to do styles and CSS in React Native. But I think that's about it for this one, guys. So have a good one and I will catch you later. Peace.